I, I ate quite well last night. I hope it wasn't from any of you. Did you eat animals, woodland creatures? I did, yes. I got some sweet deer ass. It was really good. <laughs> I had to ass. work for it. Yeah. I'm pressing digitationing mm -hmm. the blood off of No, 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 it makes me look dangerous. I just, no, it just makes you look nasty. He's got a bib that just makes blood all over the place. I too. should show you the bib. <laughs> it just drips perpetually. That really feels like an innuendo. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. You sound got scarier drip. than what you got talk. Drip. <laughs> I totally know what that means. Oh, that got me. In your head, you hear, I thought, uh, I thought that group we met up with said that wasn't supposed to happen. Me too, but I think, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Katha is it's it's a it's a rare thing, and I usually know Katha Boom, but I thought I was supposed to be a little bit more in charge of it, and I don't think I am as much. Or maybe there's room to grow, work. I don't know. Both of you make an Arcana check. Ooh. First roll of the night. Uh oh. Ten. Natural twenty. Oh. Whoa. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, cons considering it, yeah, like Kath has been, been, you know, an, an itch that you've learned to pretty much keep under control um, as you kind of like have this conversation and glance out, you know, the, the faint breaks in the gray cloud cover, the, the low kind of uh, snow front that's coming in, you can see still that f the faint drifting of technicolor auroras in the sky, and you gather that what you carry is a curse, technically. Mm. And it seems people keep talking about all forms of magic and weird tend to be a little more elevated during this period. Mm. Basically, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real takeaway here. It's like an allergy, and I don't have any I'm gonna stop the metaphor. <laughs> um, look, I'm sorry, Frida. Yes. Are you all right? I had so much fun. You I mean, did? it was tenuous there, but I enjoyed it, and you were so alive. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm gonna like tens across the board in that state. I, but I could still feel you and see you there beneath it. I, I saw you fighting. It was impressive. You were impressive. That is not the reaction I was expecting. Well, no harm, no foul. I seem to be okay, so minus much my harm. coat. It it's okay, dear. So it was fun. I shot him in the face. You shot me in the face? A few times. I missed more than I hit you, but it was still it fun. Is. Damn. I don't understand bonding at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that you enjoyed it. I would hate to put you off since we've just met. Um, were you afraid? Of course. Oh. I'm sorry for that. No, fear is, fear is part of life. I was more afraid that, that we'd lose you, which is why I, I went out. Do you, I, I wanted to make sure you were okay. I, I never experienced that firsthand. Okay, it's time to get my face tattooed on your buttocks. <laughs> do you want a profile or straight on? Oh, uh-oh, I don't want, uh -oh. I'm not, I'm just kidding. What I do you mean? I did. About you didn't bite me. You didn't or... bite me. Okay. Don't tease. I was just trying to. Seriously though, like, Hold how on. do you know he didn't okay. attack anybody else? Ooh. I asked. What do you mean you asked? I asked if everybody. No. Was... What if there was another person wandering around the woods that wasn't part oh. of our group? They probably got fucking killed. <laughs> yeah. Chet. What? Wouldn't be the first time. You, you said before people? you. Well, yeah, but I mean, they were all bad. Are you sure about that? No, mm -hmm. he has I no memory of it. This is something you you really need to get under control. You're, you could be a menace to yourself and others. <laughs> how how would how would you go about doing that though? How would you go about getting this under control so you can stop being a menace? Well, remember we instituted the restraint system where every night. Yeah, well, it didn't work, did it? Well, we're not on an airship you, anymore, what are Imogen. You're running around. You just like hug. Are your Deanna? No, I know Deanna, <laughs> but your your girlfriend, former, bae, yeah. former girlfriend, former fling. I don't think at best. together now. You're not. Have you? What? Recon. 
What? No. What? What are you asking? I don't know. Things happen quickly. <laughs> yeah. I'm too old for her now. Do you yeah. think we banged it out while you were asleep? Mm. Four hours is a long time. It can help a lot of stuff. It's a very accepting group. That is, yeah. In your head you hear, did y'all bang it out? No, we did not. <laughs> I just, nope. In your head nope. you hear, did they bang it out? He's saying no. <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> Look, it's t it's totally fine. We can, I'll just start tracking the moon again when we're not getting teleported to a different continent. <clears throat> I was a little shook up. I got caught off guard. I got I was on my heels. I'm sorry, and I haven't killed an innocent person in a while. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we just got to keep track of the moon. Yeah. And when we know that it's going to be full, we got to just lock you know, it down. Lock it. Can I, I don't think I've ever been in the Vellum Steeple myself, but is there like a person that's sort of widely known to be in charge of it? Or will I lie? Make a history check for Ooh. me. Ooh, perfect. It's bad to make checks when you're sad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 12, the only number I know today. 12, uh, yeah, you're right around 11, 12. not anyone <laughs> specific, but what you do know is like the halls are used for research and they are generally open to the public if people are willing to pay to have research done for them. Mm. Uh, meaning they're open to approach. Uh, they're not free to wander. Um, there are many, many different uh, archivists and, and research and professors and people that are part of the uh, schooling process of the education system within Uthodurn that utilize this, as well as a number of other uh, historians. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Historically. I see what we're doing today. But no specific Fun. individual, no. We'll keep an eye out for a friend of mine named Carmen. But if they're not there, Carmen, San Diego. yeah, Carmen. Carmen San Diego, great. Yes, blue dress, blue hat, fucking <laughs> tricky <laughs> shit. We... All right, as you as you kind of continue past, you do kind of glance over in the direction and you see the building. Um, it looks like it's been expanded upon. Son of a bitch! <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, they've. What you looking at? This is second Jeff? floor. Oh. <sighs> yeah, it's been doing really well. That's where you worked, right? Yes. Well, we should go in and say hi to your Fuck fellow. no. Why? Because I bloodied the owner, okay? We oh, were real that tight. Who stabbed in the knee? In the hand, him, yep. Who did you stab in the knee? I should not talk about it this openly on the street, but the owner of the shop and I, we made incredible wooden toys that children loved. And then wooden toys kind of fell out of fashion and there was a son of a bitch who came in and said like, kids like things made out of Metal. Oh, oh, oh. And he wanted to start sharing some of the ownership of the store, and uh, I didn't take it very well. Oh, so you you stabbed your former partner over it? Well, or no, the guy I, who wanted to switch to metal. He owned the store, both of them. You stabbed, you stabbed them both. Yeah, but one before the other. But why did you blame your friend? Well, and he was like a he was kind of like an instructor to me. I learned a lot from him, but he forgot his roots. It's wood. There's a purity there. You don't have to do the thing that's in vogue. You're if you, if you have, sorry, you're right. No, Thank you're you. good. Thank I'm you just for keeping me in check. That's no, true. That's I appreciate it. No one's going to force you to do anything, but if you have a relationship with this person, you know, it's never too late to try to repair it. Open him up from, to oh, try no, to repair. To repair. Yes. Try to repair yes. You're right. older now. You're more mature, maybe. <laughs> you mm -hmm. have worked a little bit in metal. Yeah. You know? I'm metal. You gave me I'm something the that was metal. Sounds like you should have finished He's the job. He's embracing the change. You know, times right. change, Chetney. Yeah, I like, I like where you're going with this <laughs> little, little dark angel on my shoulder. Yeah. What do you mean, times change? Times change. I understand that. I've seen a lot of the time change, but there's, sometimes we just got to be us. Sure. I agree with Mr. Puckapee. Thank you, Frida. I'm sorry I fucked you up in the wilds. Oh, you have to stop apologizing. Okay. It was fun. I'm not saying we do this now, but maybe one of one of us could go in and just see how what's going on inside. You don't have yeah. to, but just to sort of report to you on what we see. Yeah. A after we go to the Vellum Steeple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. After, yeah. after. Yeah. 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 Usually the change bringer has granted me the ability to talk to people from great distances, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh. Oh, welcome to the club. So you're suffering the same. So it seems, though, um, we are not certain if this has spread 
farther beyond Uthedon. It's only been a few days, but... It definitely has. How it's do you know like this? this? Where are you from? A few days. A lot farther. We know that it's happening on Marquette as well. Do you know this how? We were there a few days ago, a couple days ago, and we saw the beginnings of it there. And then all of a sudden we weren't, with no explanation. Poofed over here. <laughs> <sighs> I do I hate solstices. From what we can ascertain, there is um, a city-wide, if not beyond that circumstance. Uh, uh, How do I put it? A deep diminishing of divination. Diminishing of divination. Just, okay. Does that happen every solstice? Not in our records so far. We're in the process of trying to see if there's been a pattern in history of such a widespread loss of magical capability, but this is, uh, so far, uh, unprecedented. But just divination match? Because the lights are bad, too. A number of other enchantments, old magic, have um, gone offline. Can you uh, give us a quick rundown and be less snooty? Because I know you're just as in the dark as the rest of us, so you don't have to, like, whatever this is. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, um, <laughs> guidance. Thanks. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's a six. There we go. Uh, oh, that could be nice. Fifteen. Hey. Fifteen, not too bad. <laughs> If we're sharing information, please, yeah. anything you have to offer would be appreciated as well, far travelers. Uh, all forms of divination in the realm of auguries, clairvoyance, um, communing with divine entities, contacting other planes, even scrying seems to be uh, barely functional if it all. A number of long standing and up until recently thought permanent enchantments seem to have been disabled, including. Uh, long set circles of teleportation. Damn. A lot of our means of uh, mass transit and travel through other locations across Exandria have been cut out from under us, and we've lost contact with most of the outside world. Oh, wow. Pardon me, did you introduce yourself? <sighs> no, I did not. I'm Scribe Warden Ressia Uvesic. Yo, say again one more time. Scribe Warden Ressia Uvesic. May I call you Ressia? You may. Ressia? Who? 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 I don't or believe Scribe. in coincidences. It's great. It's great. And it seems to me you, you need your best minds working on this problem, right? And they are. I don't think so, because these are your best minds. These people have experienced whatever you're trying to figure out. In your head, you're gonna hear, we may not want to reveal everything to everyone. We've all experienced some very confusing hardship as of late. Um, we have a number of very astute and learned individuals researching this as we speak. Um, if you are willing to share information, perhaps information can be shared in trade. However, we are not in the business of uh, losing business, as after all, we do need to maintain funding for our research. You're worried about money during an Applebee solstice? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Applebee's? I'm sorry, I didn't hear when you said it what, what it was before, so I yeah, kind of just ballparked. <laughs> I've told you what we know. We, we made it if you would like to share what you know, did, did, otherwise, I'd like to get back to my work. You said you're, 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 you're a, have you tried scrying? Yes. And it's, it's a no-go. We've had no luck with any of those uh, individuals with scrying capabilities. Okay. Do we trust you? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We need answers. This is a library, right? It, mm, mostly. Mm. I guess if, I mean, if everyone's cut off from everyone, then we don't have to worry about people coming after us for saying the wrong thing anymore, right? I don't think so. Every new detail is bad. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we know we know a bit more about what's happening. And I'll go into a bit Sorry. more detail about what we saw and uh, who was we... involved? Yeah. 
You're gonna want to write this down. There was a man, Ludinus Delith. Of the assembly? I, I'm not sure, I think so, yeah. Um, What's the assembly? It's a bad he, group, uh, I'm not even really sure. Uh, he basically, yeah, FCG I'm sure filled in as much. Yeah. The, the rundown. Right, so you give the general gist without the specific details necessarily. Right. Um, you watch. Things could be bad. Right. You hear kids crying as you go by, and parents trying to shush them, people shouting and looking for their friends, trying to gather their families and bring them inside. And you begin to see the, where the crowd is thickest is towards the end of the Liber Disc, where you can see a mass of glass blades and what you recognize to be royal guards, clustered, sweaty, and nervous, all gathered on the outside of the sealed metal gate to the Grand Disc. As in, as in, it's been cut off? They've they actively cut it, it off? Yeah. They've sealed it. Oh, wow. Did and they seal it on this side, or can we tell? Is there any way to tell? Like, are they looking at the gate like, oh god, it should not have closed, or are they standing with their backs to it? Like they they're, they're standing closed. with their backs to it, yeah. and they're pushing crowd away. People are being let off the streets, and you can oh. see they're clustered and gathered around. Make a perception check for anyone who's glancing in that space. I'm also going to listen to some thoughts, some, some more detecting thoughts. This, this girl is too. <laughs> I'm gonna 16. open up my mind. 21. 25. 16. Oh, perception. I rolled shit. 11. Or, or, never mind. 12. Okay. Disadvantage. Uh, 20. Okay. God, I would love to know what it's like to roll that high. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. Give I'm believing you. Let them cook. <laughs> <laughs> Gathered amongst this group of royal guards and armed soldiers, uh, you can see some of them look to be slightly wounded, bloodied in the face. Oh, the um, you can see they're pushing folks away and telling folks to go back to their homes, shouting, you know, please step away, stay back, stay back, stay back. And you can see that like, they're, they're not being like forceful, in a, but they're definitely keeping a distance and, and keeping the populace who are like shouting, well, what happened? What, why is it closed? Why is it down? What's happening down below? We, we deserve to know. People are shouting and they're just like, please stay calm, get back. And you can see as, as they keep doing this, that there are small tunnels, like doorways that are on the sides of this gate that are also open and more soldiers. And you can see nobles and other figures are rushing through. They're looking nervous and scared and like sweating. Uh, as they're like <gasps> pouring out, basically, Filtering out from the Grand Disc. Um, coming out of the Grand Coming disc. out of the Grand Disc. Like I said before, if the gods really are severed from us, we ha we are we are the gods now. We have to we have to be the right and wrong of this world. Oh, and, and beyond just the gods, no offense, FCG. It's the timing is crazy for something to have burst out of the castle without the king queen running from it. I mean, if we could actually get around, uh, maybe uh, take it apart or, or slow it down a little bit or, or find out what's going on inside the castle, we could ingratiate our, ourselves to the king and queen. Yeah, they now can that, make it that makes sense, from... but do you think we're going to be able to, to take down a creature that a ton of royal guards weren't able to? That's what I was thinking, too. It seems... We've got something that they don't. <laughs> What, friendship? The change I outside. was going to say friendship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Friendship. Yeah, the power, the power of friendship. What, what's powerful about that? <laughs> Come on. You of all people know the, the bonds of friendship and, and how it can affect the world and affect change. Yeah, you, 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 you lose people. They just disappear. Or you disappear. Well, that's not going to happen to us. This is the sort of positive talk that we need before we go after a, a sentient creature that's. We've that's also got the element of surprise. That friendship in that. Yeah, I let's think go. Is good. Let's go forward. <laughs> Glancing at this beast, you could see it's emanating this like soft, kind of reddish purple glow. And what you see looks like a massive bull. It is just rippling with strength and mass uh, from bottom of hoof to top of shoulder, probably about eight to nine feet tall. Its horns, from where it adjoins from its skull and curves to the front, these massive piercing points, each horn probably is about six, seven feet long. 
as it moves, you can see almost like parts of its body uh, are immaterial or kind of ethereal. Almost like you see like starscapes in them or some sort of a, an energy throughout the body. And then it, when it gets angry or thinks it sees something, it <laughs> crashes its horns into one of the nearby pillars. It cracks and breaks open. Its body seems to take like a physical form upon the impact before it kind of drifts back into an ethereal state. And it looks like it's just kind of stalking around, looking. Mm. You see it kind of just pacing around the base of the citadel. Um, it's bad we're here. That's going to finish its go. <laughs> Fern, you're up with FCG on deck. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get up. Okay, that's half your movement. And then the rest of the movement, I'm gonna try to just. Tuck, tuck behind the pole. Okay. That's about as far as you can get. Oh, oh boy. Oh. All right. Yeah, he can still see you, and it's like. So, oh, because of the armor, with a melee attack. Which it was, yeah. Yeah. So that's he's gonna take. A, uh, ten points of cold damage. You cast it to level three, right? I did. I did second level. Okay, gotcha. So, so it says take ten points of cold damage as it strikes you. There's like this icy blast off of furnace. She goes flying and kind of strikes on the side of its face, and the mist as the ice that struck it suddenly evaporates. But yeah, I did take the damage. So you move. You still have your action this turn. Okay. Uh, I wanted to try something, but I don't know if this is gonna work because I don't know. Fuck it. I am going to cast Dominate Beast. Ooh. Let's go. Okay. I don't know if it's find out. So is it a wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw of 18. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. Uh, that is gonna be an eight. <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Checking Please things. Don't have He's action. checking things. Please don't have an action. Don't be don't have a legendary. Don't be an aberration. It's gonna be some construct. Or a demon. I know. I just can't. Oh, it does have it has advantage on the saving throw because you're fighting it. Okay. It's a beast. It's oh, a beast because his name is the beast. It's it's a it's a few things. It's a few things. All right. That is a seventeen. <gasps> Wait, Ooh, it was eighteen. Fails. Yeah. 18. It, it 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 counts as both a celestial and a beast. <gasps> oh. Whoa. So, so at the moment. <laughs> It just kind of looks towards you. It was about to like go into a secondary charge, and then just kind of like drops. And it's for one minute. It is charmed by you. Whoa! One minute. For the one minute, the battle is halted. What are you all fucking doing? Uh, can I, if it stops, can I try to uh, telepathically speak to it? Do you want to? Yes. I'm darting up to the throne. I can also speak to it. Speak to it. Oh. Okay. But I'm, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to it and just start. Trying to pet him. Okay. While, Scritchy. while, while. So you move up to it, kind of bloody, and reach out and start petting it. All right, it is charmed by you. So as you start petting it, and as your hand touches it, it's it's odd because it it's like physical when you touch it, and then your hand almost passes into it about an inch or so, and it feels like you're running a hand through water, but it's warm. And as you kind of it, it's petting, it, and you as you're moving your hand through, you can see its head kind of like oh. it kind of shakes into it a little bit. Um, you're reaching into its mind. Uh huh. All right. And what are you saying? We're not here to harm you. I, I can tell you're lost. Believe I'll go do it. Make a persuasion check. Uh, you're uncertain if if it's picking are... up on language or word. They're, at best, you're trying to convey emotion. Calming so and. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. And then we'll get to the rest of you here. Uh, 18. Okay. It, you're uncertain if it's understanding what you're saying, but it seems to at least your emotions are conveying towards it. We'll see what sort of reaction it has. Okay. Uh, the rest of you haven't had a chance to do anything yet. What do you want to do? Uh, can I get a hand on you just to hit you with a cure wounds as I make for the Elvish? Because I can read Elvish. Yeah. I, get, I give you 30 points back. Whoa! Oh my god. I'm good at this. Don't let me die! <laughs> ah. <laughs> 